it's so funny. Funny hell, isn't it? It might be good, it might be bad, it might be the worst or best you've had. Embrace the taste or cut your losses, but let's all try some of Slosh's sauces. Hi, this is Slosh. Welcome back to Slosh's Bar and Grill. I'm all by myself today, and this is this is kind of this is kind of a special one. Um, I'm going to be dedicating this one to Lockie and to his mum, his mum Kelly, Kelly Gilmore, who um, passed away a little while ago. Um, Lockie actually flew out to to meet me um, and Mama Cass um, a few months ago, and given everything that's kind of gone on here, um, it's been one of the things that's been up on the shelf and I've been meaning to meaning to do. So Lockie, this is for you and um, I'm still thinking about you, man, and uh, there are no real words for for your loss, um, losing your mum. So this is for you. I've been meaning to do this for such a long time. You're such an awesome dude to get to mate and it's uh, getting to meet you, who um, one of my one of my viewers who who came all the way out to see me and meet me is one of the most humbling things that's ever happened to me um, through doing this this silly little hobby of mine and um, it's up there in like my top 10 moments in my life so um, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you and uh, this one this one is for you man because Lockie brought me a few sauces to try and so we've got this one here which I will, apparently, we have a boy, but that's okay. We'll work with that. So we have this here. This is from near where Lockie lives. He's from Adelaide. So this is Australian made and owned naturally. This is from the Birenberg family farm, Gauchos, G-A-U-C-H-O-S, Gauchos. Gauchos Diablo sauce. Can you handle it? So this is the one he asked me to do first and like I said I apologize massively for not getting it done so far but um, yeah it's still the first one that we're doing so let's see what this tastes like. Actually should we should do the ingredients first I haven't done this in such a long time I'm kind of forgetting what I'm, what I'm doing. Subtle maybe not but you wouldn't want it to be. A little of this sauce can transform, transform the best seafood into the greatest seafood ever, hot and fiery. When it came, when it first came to life in the Gaucho's kitchen over 20 years ago, only one word was whispered. Wow. Hmm. Um, ingredients are Worcestershire sauce, vinegar, sugar, molasses, lemon juice, plum, onion, sea salt, spices, garlic, yeast extract, thickener, tomato, cream, sugar, ginger, vinegar, herbs and spices, sea salt, thickeners, garlic so I'm not really a hundred percent sure where the heat's gonna come from in this but um, it sounds interesting so let's give it a go oh that smells pretty bloody good though it's definitely a seafood sauce I kind of wish I had prawns right now Maybe I could make some fish. It is quite late at night. I've only just got the children to sleep and I'm having to record out in the kitchen. So let's see if we can get this to pour. See how thick it is. Oh, I might have to shake it up just a little bit more. Make sure that it's ready to go. It's definitely got that seafood kind of smell to it. I think this will be one of those ones where first none or then the lot or when you shake and shake the hot sauce bottle. So what we'll do is we'll get a nice big spoon there and it's going to spill everywhere because I'm having to lean, lean far too far forward. But there you go. We have the Birenberg Family Farm Gaucho's Diablo sauce. Can you handle it? It smells delicious.
Άγιος Προδόσιος. Oh. No hate. No hate whatsoever in that. But this this is delicious. That would be absolutely perfect with prawns, be perfect with fish, be perfect with crab. Crayfish, it would be amazing with. If you could add just a little bit of chili, like a little bit of actual spice to it, it would be absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect with crayfish. Wonderful. I mean, the lemon's great in it. The ginger's just the perfect level. There's that cream in it. The cream in it really gives it that nice consistency. But I'm gonna have to give it, I have to give it one heat. Have to give it one heat. But there's so many different things in here that just go perfectly together for seafood. I don't I don't think it'd go all that well with um, beef. I don't think it'll go all that well with lamb. But that is, since we've been doing this, this show, that is the best seafood sauce that I've tried. I think I'm gonna have to go buy some prawns tomorrow just to try that with it because that is amazing. I look, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give that eight. I'm gonna give it eight on flavor. It's got one hate. It's not a hot, hot sauce, but it is a good quality, delicious sauce and well worth trying. I'm not 100% sure why they'd call it Diablo sauce, um, but mm, it's, just, it's perfect for seafood. Absolutely perfect. I can't think of anything um, in my fridge or in my cupboard that I will put with, with seafood over that. That is absolutely amazing. So Locke has given us um, another, I think five or six sauces to go through. So we're gonna do a little run of them. Um, if, I, if I actually get ahead, we might put out um, two a week like we used to. We used to do the Tuesdays and the Fridays. Um, Fridays are always definite, Tuesdays might be a, if I get in front, it's, it's a little bit hectic here at the moment. But this, if you're looking for a good seafood sauce, buy this, especially if you're in, in Australia, because this is, this is a um, South Australian sauce. Yeah, made Mount Barker Road, hand off South Australia. Beerenberg.com.au Australia. This is bloody tasty. Not hot, bloody, bloody tasty. Um, so uh, once again, thank, thanks, Lockie, for, for all of those. And as I said, man, it was great to meet you. And um, our condolences and our thoughts are, are with you, and they always will be, man, because what else can I say, man? I've been thinking about you a lot, but we still need to play. We still need to play Don't Starve, and I'm still trying to work out time when we can do that. Um, so, yeah, this one is for you. This one is dedicated to... Um, you and your mum and the rest of your family and um, yeah, our thoughts are with you and I'll stop rambling on, it's very very late um, the kids don't go to sleep so early anymore it's winter, they seem to think it's time to stay up later so as always guys, thank you so much for watching thanks for putting up with the delay thanks for putting up with my rambling um, but we will be back with another hot sauce review next Friday and potentially Tuesday if I get ahead of things wouldn't that be nice? it would be nice so as always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for everything that you've done for me over the past few years. And uh, spare a thought. Um, send some good wishes, some goodwill to, to Lockie and his family. And, um, yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. Peace.